Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about some new set leaks that have come. So we got another new look at Melissa as Supergirl, along with David Harewood as Martian Manhunter. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So this comes from Canada Graphs, you guys can go check out his blog post in the description below. And also go follow him on Twitter if you want to stay up to date with all the latest set photos and set videos. So a big thanks to him. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. So he's given me some information about like the scene that they were filming and we've got a bunch of set photos. But first things first, let's go over these set photos and then we will back it up with the information we know about what they were shooting. Okay, so we got this first photo, we got Melissa here, she's laughing and this is like our first proper good look. And so this is super exciting because it's like, you know, she's in a Supergirl suit, you don't see the bangs, and it's just normal. And this is like the set photos we normally get, they're always having a blast around the set, laughing, and David and Melissa always have a great time. So, anyway, this is what's happening in this scene. So according to Canada Graphs, the details that he could get about the scene they were shooting was this. There is a huge container that's ripped open on the side. Martian Manhunter is staring at it. Supergirl flies in, then they look at it together, then Martian Manhunter leaves and comes right back with a piece of paper and they look at it. So now that is most of the information that we know about the scene, and so we will apply that information when we go through these photos and break them down. Okay, so yeah, like I said, the first photo is of Melissa, she's having a good time, she's in the Supergirl suit. Also, some people on Reddit, like I'll put up a comparison on the screen right now, some people on Reddit said that Supergirl's suit has been slightly modified, but as far as I can see, it hasn't been modified at all. Like, I went bit by bit throughout the suit trying to see any differences. The only difference is the lighting is different because obviously it's a different time of the day. It is literally like over a year apart. And also, she doesn't have her cape connected to her because if you don't know, those are clips on her shoulders to connect her cape onto. So, yeah, it's pretty much the same suit. I don't think they made any modifications at all. Okay, so let's move on to the next photo. So this is probably my favorite one because this is like our first good look at Melissa in the suit. She's just staring and this is like a face-on photo. So that means that we can see everything and it's just awesome. Like, get excited, guys. Supergirl is filming, Supergirl is back and I'm very excited that they're actually filming on location because if you guys didn't know, they weren't filming on location. Normally in downtown Vancouver, that's where you get most of these photos from if they're ever on set because Melissa was away. But now she's back and she's filming with the main cast for the past few weeks. We've seen her quite a few times this week. So yeah, this photo is really cool and this is outside that container you can see behind her. That is the container that Canada Grass was talking about in his details. So this is a huge container and at one side of it, it's like completely ripped open. Martian Manhunter is staring at it and he obviously calls in Supergirl. So Supergirl flies down and they look at it together and something is inside there. So they don't know what's happening. However, it does lead to him coming back with a piece of paper. And so maybe it's some sort of like scribe or like a scroll or just like a document that basically shows them what is going on here. So either they found someone or they found something like a specific artifact or something that they have been looking for. And he felt the need to go get this piece of paper and basically cross reference whatever is going on inside there. So you can see this in this video on the screen right now. I'm not going to post the actual video here. This is just a screenshot of it. I'll leave the link in the description below. But yeah, so this video shows that piece of paper is like a scroll. And this is actually our first look in motion of Supergirl and Marsh Manhunter on set. Obviously, this is just Melissa and David having a good time talking between takes. However, it is very cool because it's like the first time we've seen them in action. And obviously, photos are great, but videos is, I guess, getting that one step closer to getting real footage for Supergirl Season 6. And so he is holding this piece of paper, just like Canada Graph said, so there is some sort of reason for this. Okay, so let's move on to the next photo. And you got this photo right here, it's really good. And you see David and Melissa standing right next to each other. David does have that scroll in his hand, he does have that piece of paper. And so they are fully suited up, Martian Manhunter and Supergirl. And yeah, like I said, you can see the 
container behind them it looks a bit beaten up but I'm presuming the actual container they're looking at is where they're looking and it seems like maybe this is like some sort of trailer park or is a container place I don't know what you call it it's like a dockyard I guess and so their mission has somehow led them to here so the episode they're filming right now I'm not specifically sure on what episode it is however it is getting later in the season so it's like around episode 10 so about midway and I don't know at this point if this is going to have anything to do with like the main villain, whoever turns out to be the main villain. Because by this time I think they're definitely going to be building up to whoever that turns out to be. Right now we don't actually have any clues as to who that could be, like in terms of any easter eggs, anything from the set, we have no idea. So maybe just maybe that what they're doing here, this investigation that Martian Manhunter and Supergirl is doing, could be something to do with the main villain. However, it's very likely that it could be something completely separate. It could just be like a villain of the week and they are following up on clues. They're going from place to place, basically trying to find out who this person is, who is doing whatever is happening in this episode. So we don't have all the specifics. However, we can try and paint a rough picture as to what is going on. And obviously it's just super exciting to see Supergirl back. Filming on location, we get like our first good looks at the Supergirl suit. You know, seeing that there's no modifications, seeing what Melissa looks like, she doesn't have the bangs and obviously people are really excited about that because it's very nostalgic. It's the original hairstyle, the season 2, season 1, season 3 hairstyle and you combine that with the new suit and it's really exciting because it's like a nice blend of all the seasons. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to get any suit modifications this season considering it is the last season and it seems like... They're really happy with the suit and, you know, if they're up to like episode 10 or something, that means that they are pretty much going to stick with it unless they do any last minute changes, which I don't think is very likely at all. Okay, so let's move on to the final photo and this is just a selfie from the set with Melissa and David on that actual location, I think it is. And so you have the two of them there posing for a selfie and like... David is known for doing this, he always posts selfies and photos of the cast, like behind the scenes, he's like one of our best sources for behind the scenes photos and videos. So as Supergirl fans, it's really nice to get that kind of insight, and you can see Melissa is wearing her Supergirl suit, you can see her hair, I mean this is like the best shot of her hair, basically it's so similar to what we've had in the past, and so it's just really exciting and it hypes fans up, because we're gonna be getting Supergirl back soon, Again, we don't know the specific release date about when Supergirl is coming, however we are theorizing because Stargirl is coming out in the summer, they released that promo recently during Superman Lois's premiere, saying, Stargirl, coming this summer. We have speculated that Supergirl might get one of those promos sometime soon, so be on the lookout for that, however, we are expecting something in terms of information, in terms of premiere dates, before we get a trailer, more than likely they'll wait until they have a set date set and then you'll get that promo however the rough estimate for the premiere date is sometime in the summer so more likely than not it's going to be a june or july release date and if they start on the first of june like the first sunday of june which is june 6th and they run for 20 weeks straight you know what day it is it finishes october halfway through the month right and why is that a big coincidence well that means that we would have DC TV shows all year round because The Flash would be back for season 8 at its normal premiere spot, literally right as Supergirl ends. So, wow, that would be amazing and I really do hope that they stick with that June release date so that we can have DC TV shows all year round and Supergirl won't finish until like the new shows start again. So, I hope for that and I'm looking forward to getting that official confirmation of a release date. Not even the cast know about it because you remember a while ago, Azzy said that she thinks that it's going to premiere sometime in April but then there's been no official release date and they've set their spring release dates and April is part of that and Supergirl wasn't on the schedule. So things are kind of up in the air right now but getting these set photos and these set videos is super exciting because it gives us a little insight as to what is going on and thanks to people like Canada Graphs we get that information. So go check out Canada Graphs' blog in the description below and also go check out his Twitter. Give him a follow if you want to stay up to date with things that are going on in Vancouver in terms of filming. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy the video. 
please be sure to subscribe if you're new, also turn on notifications to not miss any videos, and for now, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see.